The following contains mature content. You've been warned. From Wondery, I'm Mark Ramsey, and this is Inside Psycho. November 16, 1957. A freezing cold morning at the beginning of a brutal winter in the tiny hamlet of Plainfield, Wisconsin. Bernice Warden, 58, was just opening up the hardware store she'd owned for many years. Warden's, it was called, right over there on East Main. Everybody in town knew Bernice. She was good folk. Good morning. Antifreeze? It's over there on the end cap. Okay, a half gallon. That'll be 54 cents. I need one more thing. Okay, sure. Plainfield, Wisconsin. It was the kind of small, Midwestern town where hunting was a way of life. Everyone owned a gun. Sure, Warden sold guns and rifles lined up against the back wall. Bernice Warden didn't see the man wander to the back wall. She didn't see him lift a 22 caliber rifle off the shelf. She didn't see him load around. She didn't see him wait for her at the counter. And then she did. He wasn't buying the rifle. He was aiming it at her head. The man dragged Bernice Warden's lifeless body out of the store and onto a truck. He removed the cash register. Not because he wanted to steal it, he said later, but because he wanted to take it apart and see how it worked. That was his thing, to see how they worked. And then, slowly, casually, he drove away. The door to the hardware store was locked. The lights were on, midday Saturday. The store was closed, empty, desolate. And Bernice Warden had vanished. Just one thing was left behind, one thing, a receipt. A receipt for one half gallon of antifreeze made out to a Mr. Ed Gein. When the police later raided the man's ramshackle farmhouse, an unimaginably grotesque nightmare was revealed. They found the body of Bernice Warden. And when you see a picture of her body in that state, you literally can't unsee it. There she was, hanging upside down by the ankles, stripped naked, her rib cage ripped open. She was disemboweled as one witness put it, dressed out like a deer. In the kitchen, sitting in a pan of water on top of the man's pot-bellied stove, Bernice Warden's heart. By a table, burlap sack, something round inside, a human head. Bernice Warden's head. Word spread fast about the hell unleashed in Plainfield. From there, if you take Wisconsin 22 to US 10 East to Wisconsin 110 North, about 35 miles, you come to the town of Weawega. There, a writer, Robert Block, devoured every detail. He had a couple books to his name already, but the story of this strange man in Plainfield gave him an idea, and that idea became a book. A book which was optioned by a famous Hollywood director and became a legendary movie. 
Why'd you do it? That's what they asked Ed Gein. Why'd you do it, Ed? Well, she reminded me of my mother. This is the story of a movie that almost didn't get made. A movie where the star dies after only 47 minutes. A movie its studio hated. A movie the New York Times called a blot on an honorable career. A movie now regarded as one of the finest ever made. A movie that changed everything. From Wondery, this is a six-part deep dive inspired by the story behind an unforgettable classic movie. This is Inside Psycho. For more information and to comment on this show, visit our website, wondery.com slash inside psycho. Tell your friends about this show. And mother, thanks you. <laughs>